Hello and welcome to our float switch kit comparison video. We are going to be comparing our four most popular float switch kits today, including the Float Kit 1, the Float Kit X Series Kit 1, Kit 2, and Kit 3. And you want to make sure you stick around until the end of today's video because someone is in with a chance of winning a free kit of their choice. All you've got to do is follow the instructions coming up at the end. So without further hesitation, we're going to dive right into our comparison, starting with Float Kit 1, also known as the FK1. And just a note, you want to pause to take a look at any additional notes on the screen because there is a lot coming up. So, Float Kit 1, we have got a circuit board with a very affordable price tag coming in at approximately 20 US dollars. This one has polarity protection on the input, it's got protection for the float switch, however it's got a limitation on how long the cable can be on the float switch, that's up to 2 meters is the recommended maximum. We have got up to 10 amps switching capacity. We've also got a direct throughput. What the float switch does, the output also does within 20 milliseconds. So it's very fast response time, perfect for sumps and aquariums and small tanks where the water does not move much. So up next, we're on to the other three. So these three are all X series. Now the X series is designed to do all of the things that the standard float kit cannot. These ones all have far more advanced features and enhanced functionality to ensure the maintenance of your water levels or liquid levels in whatever tank you're monitoring. Up first, we have the automatic refill controller. So this is the float kit X series kit one. This one maintains the level in your tank with a two float switch setup. You have got a high point and a low point. When your liquid level drops below the low point, it will turn on your device and when it reaches the high point it'll turn it off again and 30 amps switching capacity so this one can switch large pumps and solenoids you can also have it turn devices off you can have it send signals and this one of course has the added advantage of optical input protection on both switches and the ability to resist waves and up third, we have got our Ripple Correction Code Control Board. Single float switch connected to an FKX board. We have got an intelligent chip. This board essentially thinks and makes decisions. It enables it to resist most waves and ripples in water. You can install it on moving vehicles, trailers, and anywhere else that you may experience waves or turbulence in the water level. This enables it to connect to your pump or solenoid valve and will make proper decisions to ensure that your valve is not opening and closing at the wrong time or excessively. This is a much more reliable solution and offers the most protection to your pump. And last up, we have got Float Kit X Series Kit 3, also known as our Automatic Drain Controller or Tank Emptying Module. This one automatically drains the tank when it reaches a certain level. It's often used in breweries in the manufacturing process, but also ideally suited for fire safety and overflow tanks. It can be used to drain off the excess liquid when a tank gets too full. It can also be used to pump liquid around or also operate heating elements or other controllers. It has a switching capacity of 30 amps, just like the other X-Series boards, carrying a price tag of approximately 40 to 50 US dollars. This kit is ideally suited for the manufacturing process, industrial automation, and safety and cleaning equipment. So just to summarize, we have shown you four different float switch kits, three of the X-Series ones and one standard. So we've got our standard flow kit, ideally suited for fish tanks, aquariums, and maintaining water level or liquid level in places where it doesn't move that often. We have got the X-Series Kit 1, designed specifically for refilling tanks and offers a much more robust and reliable design, whilst also protecting from waves and ripples in water. We have got Kit 2, a direct replacement for the standard float kit. This one has enhanced functionality, an intelligent monitoring system, advanced pump and solenoid protection features whilst offering the ability to be installed on a moving vehicle or a tank which is susceptible to waves and ripples in the water. This one will resist. And the final one, Float Kit X Series Kit 3, the fourth one in our comparison video, we have got a drainage controller designed specifically to empty or flush a tank when it reaches a certain level. That's our comparison for today. So well done if you've made it this far. One more note is that these kits can be made to work with a higher DC input voltage, such as 24 volts with the aid of a step-up converter. We've been asked this question a few times and we thought we would address it now. Now, as promised, our competition. All you have to do is like this video, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Then leave us a comment stating which kit you want. So you've got Flow Kit 1, Flow Kit X Series Kit 1, 2 or 3 and let us know what you would like to use your kit for. Your name will then be entered into a raffle and if your number comes up you get your kit. We will announce it in the next video or in the comments. We hope this video has been helpful to you and we will see you next time. Goodbye.